Wow. I could I could literally fly my drone above him. Well guys, class G airspace. Look how low this guy is. Okay, he's below. Look at this stuff. 400 feet. Wow. Always got to keep an eye open. I mean, there's no air show going on. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what a dredge looks like. Okay guys, here is the mighty Ohio River. Our bank's going on here. Okay, this right here is where all your sand comes from. This is called a dredge. I've been told by crews that work on this dredge that it is 58 feet down to the bottom and it's bedrock. So normally it's about 20 feet. The river depth's about 20 feet and they dredge down to 58 feet and then they hit bedrock. But whenever you buy concrete in my city, this is where the sand comes from. They suck it up off the bottom and normally, but this is the weekend, normally there's two, bar two barges on either side and they sift the sand there. But what I wanted to show people, a lot of people don't know it, on the very top On the very top here, you will see two spheres right there. Okay, that means that it is a nuke. That means it's not under command. That means they cannot steer out of your way. And they actually have an anchor on each side. And that's how they zigzag back and forth see those two red balls that those are called means it's a nuke not under I don't know if it's showing up or not but there's four cables off each corner So anyways, we're going to go down to the beach and see who all's down there.
I had no idea that it would be this hard to land a drone on a boat. You know, boats go up and down with this wave action. And the current is constantly dragging me down river. There's a bald eagle flying up above me. Okay guys, you ready? Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We're just 14 feet off the water here. These polarized sunglasses ain't working very good. 10 feet, 11 feet. There is Ellis Island. A lot of people call it French Island, but. Yeah, it's not going to be getting away back away southbound. Just for the mouth of Green River. Just for the mouth of Green River. But in reality, that is called Ellis Island. A couple years ago, it was also called Owens Island. Let's see, 21 mile an hour. Man, these batteries, I charged them up four or five days ago, and I'm running with 80, it's taken off and just 88%. Great. Anyways, here's our party island. Most people are over at Evansville at Aquapoco or Aquapluzu or whatever it's called. I don't know.
the world is a change in it used to be everybody had runabouts and boats now everybody's these pontoon things not a big fan of pontoons but I love nice boat. So anyways, a lot of years ago, this was a party beach 20 years ago, and then it wasn't here for years, and the river flooded and dropped real quick, and now it's back. And this has been the happening place for years now. Not many people out today because it's so freaking hot. It's like 90 degrees. So it might look like I'm over people, but I'm not. I'm still out in the water. I'm just zoomed in a little bit here. See, I'm actually, I'm actually not over any boats or any people. I'm right here.
There's a nice boat right there. Is that wrapped or just painted? Boy, is it nice. See, I'm not actually over anybody. I'm just zoomed into two powers. See this? That's where I'm actually at. 